The borderland is once again beginning to see another increase in COVID cases. KTSM 9 News reporter Bree Lockhart spoke with a local doctor on the main contributing factors of this. Bree filed this report. We have seen an increase in COVID cases, but according to Armando Meza, Chief of Infectious Diseases at Texas Tech, he says we aren't seeing an increase in hospitalizations. He says the people who are being infected the most are El Pasoans in their 20s, and those who are being admitted usually get more sick are those in their 60s. According to epstrong.org, one month ago there were 89 new cases in El Paso, and as of today, there are 256. Dr. Meza says it will continue to come in waves, and there are many factors that can affect it. And it will depend on that. It will depend on vaccination rates. It depends who's going to get the vaccine and it will depend for how long is the protection going to be provided with these vaccines. He says vaccines prevent the mortality rate, not necessarily the spread of the virus. He also adds that when you initially get vaccinated, immunity is higher, but as a vaccine starts to wear off, that's when a booster is necessary. We probably will have to change the technology of vaccines before we see transmission rates being um, affected by vaccines. Meza says there will be risks if new variants emerge, but for now it's important to know that if you aren't vaccinated, there are medications you can take if infection is caught early enough. He says this wave is not as bad as previous waves, but to still keep your guard up. Bree Lockhart, KTSM 9 News.